Next one is comments. So this is where we start the communication aspect of real-time collaboration. And there are a number of communication tools built into Onshape that, that make collaborating much more effective, right? And really a lot of them are built on the foundation of comments. So comments are our tool that allow you to communicate with your collaborator. When I say communicate, I, I literally mean text-based communication, a simple messaging tool, right? That's the way to think of comments. But it's built into Onshape, right? So it's a document level thing. You have comments inside the document. You can tag people. You have markups. There's task assignment. You have the ability to insert images. So there's lots of really neat aspects of comments that I think eliminate a lot of the email back and forth that's necessary uh, today in many systems. And, and frankly, still a lot of Onshape users use. So hopefully today, if you're not using maybe comments or some of the other features I'm going to show you, this is kind of incentive to dive into that. So let's take a look at how comments work. So I'm going to jump out of the slide deck back into my hydraulic steering pump here. And I want to create a comment. Well, the first thing to note is the comments flyout is on the left-hand side. That's the first method that you have, of course, for creating a comment. Click comments, and you'll see all the comments that are in this document. If you want to create a new comment, simply click the plus next to the comment here at the top right, and you can add a new comment. So that's technique number one. Um, go to the comments flyout. You'll see all the document level comments. Click new or add comment, and you can add your comment in. So that's the first technique. Another technique to consider is the right-click menu option. And the reason I mentioned this is tagging entities, which we'll get into later on, is an extremely powerful tool for identifying the thing that you're trying to convey to the person you're talking to. So if I have, for instance, a hole that I want someone to look at, I can tag the whole feature or a face of the hole and say, hey, is this hole diameter right? And there's no question, what is this? This is the thing that I've tagged. And so another effective tip that I have for adding comments is using the right-click menu. If you right-click a part, a feature, a face, almost anything in Onshape, you'll see this option to add a comment, right? And this will tag that feature, that face, whatever it is that you're right clicking on, it will tag that in the comment. This is an especially useful tool for, you know, on complex models when you're trying to convey, this is the thing that I'm talking about, right? So those are the two methods that you have for creating comments, going to the comment flyout, right? And creating a, a, a blank comment from scratch, or right clicking on something and creating a comment, which will tag that something with the comment. So that is creating comments. Now, a few final tips that I have, you will get notifications, right? So when I at mention someone, let's say I say, hey, Neil, at Neil, right? Actually, that's Nacho, at Neil, there's Neil. Um, you know, is this diameter right? Let's see here. All right. If I could type, there we go. And so I can add this comment and it will tag Neil with a notification. If Neil is in a document, right, in the same document, he will see a flyout. So we'll give you a real time notification when Neil is tagged in a comment. Right now, those notifications come in the form of actual flyouts. Like, so if you're in on shape and someone tags you with a comment, the comment dialog will fly out right away. Or if you're not in on shape, you'll get an email and that comment will be tagged and you can open the document from there and see, you know, what it is that you're, uh, that you've been tagged to. So, uh, notifications are a big part of comments. I, I reason I mentioned all this, you can turn the notifications off if you want to silence them, um, but they are on by default. So that is adding comments, very simple thing to do from the comments flyout. Also tagging people with comments 
um, is a very useful tool. And we're gonna go over an example in a moment where you can really take that to the next level. Questions. Good question. Is it possible to comment on entities of a sketch? Give me a second here. I, I believe the answer is no. Um, I believe that may be where the limit lies. No, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can do that. So just go back again. The question, is it possible to comment on sketch entities, parts of sketches? Um, and so the answer is yes. I wasn't I didn't think that would work, to be honest. I thought you'd have to go to the feature level. But yes, you can right-click a edge of a sketch, for instance, or combination, and tag it with a comment. And you could do this inside of the sketch or outside of it. So pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can tag sketch entities with comments.